How do you furnish your dungeon? Is there a dungeon depot in your area where you can go down and buy all the things you need to make your dungeon more comfortable? If not, watch this video and I'll talk about some other options. I was rearranging my office and um, found this uh, sitting up on uh, in with my Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I typed this up uh, about 35 years ago. I'll tell you about this. This this was typed on a typewriter. Um, it's my dungeon furnishings table. Dungeon furnishing tables. Um, I had more time and sense, less sense than uh, I should have. So I sort of took together some ideas out of uh, the first edition DMG, uh, some stuff from D Judges Guild, some stuff from the Dragon, hacked it together, modified it, and put together a set of tables to furnish a dungeon. And it, you know, you can everything from uh, what is the floor made of, what kind of wood is the, if it's a wood floor, what kind of wood it is, uh, if there's a carpet, what kind of patterns there are, what's on the floor, uh, you know, if you're going to have a table, what shape is the table, how tall is the table, how wide is the table, does it have any drawers, if so, how many. It went on and on. It's about 20 some odd pages. I um, recently scanned it and OCR'd it, and I'll put a link to that down below if you're interested. It's um, a bit rough. Uh, I mean, there was no spell checkers uh, there, and I am not the greatest at being consistent about spelling, so I'm sure there's some typos and some spelling errors in there. Um, you know, it says a, like a color of your curtain. Is it uh, beige or blue or dark blue or, you know, burnt orange or uh, dark brown? I mean, there's a whole host of things. What pattern is it? Checkered, swirled, striped, random, speckled, diamond, wavy, or some elaborate design? Uh, is there a chain and how long is it? I put this together to... Um, help me create dungeons with a little bit more crap let's be honest junk in them in fact i later on when i i'll talk more about this on another in another video where i uh, sort of automated some of this um but the idea is is that you run into a room and what do you put it what is in the room what do you do with the room what kind of room is it what's in there um Sometimes you need some help, and random tables help create um, things in the dungeon. The big key is to take what the items are and adjust them and make them part of the story. They're the seeds that you, that you as a dungeon master or a game master need to use to uh, create a more elaborate story because you can add things you can arrange things never let uh, you know a, a, my phrase is never let a die roll ruin a ruin a good story so you know you you can find things you define that there's a bed and then somebody comes somebody in the party makes some comment and about you know is it a, a feather bed or whatever change you know can ignore the rolls or change them so that it's that um uh, type of uh, adventure um, that it it advances the adventure makes things more interesting so that's what you uh, need to do if you want to take a look at my um, table down below like I said it's about 20 some odd pages it was typewritten and then I uh, scanned it and ran it through Acrobat o OCR and then uh, I'll put the link down below. I'd love to hear your comments. How do you 
add things to your dungeon? How do you make them more interesting? These are the seeds that I've used in the past to make things more. If you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this and I'll uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.